this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create 3D iPhone animations inside of After Effects, all with a custom screen and with no plugins needed. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna need is a 3D iPhone model. So what you guys can do is go online and try to find a 3D iPhone model for free. But the problem you're gonna run into is with models is just gonna be one singular model with no customizations. So to fix that, I have created a 3D iPhone model pack that lets you, your grandma, your dog, your cousins, anyone to import a 3D iPhone model that is already custom made with templates, animations, custom screen mapping. So you guys can go in there and customize it to anything you want, like Apple Music animations, iPhone camera app, like you're recording a video, really to anything you guys want. So if you guys wanna make the best and the quickest 3D iPhone animations inside of After Effects, go ahead and check out the link in the description to go check out the pack and with all the details that are on it. I'm gonna be showing you guys two different type of animations. So if you guys wanna learn the one on the left, keep on watching. If you guys wanna learn the one on the right, skip to the time code that's on screen. Now that we're inside After Effects, the first thing I'm gonna do is just import the iPhone model template project file. So I'm just gonna double click. So if you guys go get the pack, all we're gonna do is just right here with the 3D iPhone template, we're just gonna click on it and import it. Hit this little drop down, and inside here, you'll see pretty much everything that's inside of it. There's text bubble animations, there's the iPhone models right here, iPhone animation templates, custom screens, and backgrounds. Go down and create a new comp. Once we got it titled, have it in 4K, we're gonna click OK. Over inside the template, we want to go down to iPhone animations, and inside here, you'll see these top two right here. This is iPhone model custom screen one and two. You just want to open this composition and inside here, you'll see the template already created. We can go to the custom screen and inside here, we can literally add whatever you want real quickly. We're just going to add a solid boom. If you go back, boom, you guys can create the animations inside this template if you guys want. But for our case, we're going to be adding more than one iPhone. What you want to do is just inside this, we want to highlight everything. Control C go to the comp that we made and click control V. So the next step is we want to customize the screen to whatever liking that you want. The easiest way to go around this is just go onto your iPhone, screen record your screen and just record whatever you want to put on the iPhone. I just simply just went through and just kind of switched through some songs right here on the blue right here, double click to customize screen. We're gonna double click on this. We want to grab our screen recording put it inside here. And if it doesn't line up perfectly, all we have to do is just pretty much just scale it up till it fits the screen. And once we go back to our main composition, you'll see that now it is on the screen. If you guys wanna create really cool text animations, I'm gonna be making a specific tutorial just for that. For this case, we're just gonna mainly focus on customizing the screen and how to do the camera movement to make some juicy animations. Now, when it comes to animation, there's a thousand ways you guys can animate this, but the main basic way that I'm gonna be showing you guys is just you want to set a keyframe for position, X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation. Position, we just wanna put this thing backwards in time, and then we just drag the position to the left. And we want this thing to pan up. So that means on the position, we're just gonna drag this off screen. Pretty much all we wanna do is just the movement. Obviously there's gonna be rotations, but I always just try to focus on position first. So we're just gonna drag this over, down, right there. So that's where we want it to be. Let's go to two seconds and then we want it to be right here. So we're just gonna go up. But for this case, if you don't have flow, all you have to do is highlight them, click easy ease or F9, go into the graph, and then right click, go to speed graph. Inside here, we're just gonna drag this all the way to the left, drag this all the way to the left, click out of it. Now, if we play it back, you'll see that it just slowly fades in. So once we got the position, now we want to do the rotation. In this case, I almost want it to be just a slow kind of rotating. So what I do is once it's on screen, we're gonna go to the X, Y, Z, and I want it to start kind of like this. This is where it can be just fully customizable to your liking. These keyframes are going to be the start of the animation. So I kind of want it like that on the Z like that. So this is where I want it to start. So I'm going to grab these three keyframes, bring it over to the start. And then let's just say this animation will be about four seconds. So right here, I would just now rotate it so it's to the end point. And I would say I want it to stop like right there. Obviously it looks a little wonky, so we're gonna rotate it to however we want. Boom. So now if we play this back, you'll see now that has just has a smooth little rotation. It's easy ease these, so it just kind of eases out. Now we're gonna be adding in the second one. Let's go over to the iPhone animations right here on the custom screen number two. We're just gonna open this, 
Inside this new one, all we're gonna do is just highlight all of them again, control C, go into this comp and control V. Now, because these are kind of like the same color, just for this reference, we're just gonna change the colors. So we're gonna change this all to dark green. Inside the pack, if you go down to screen displays, inside here, there's a iPhone video recording interface. All we're gonna do is just import this. This is just a template for the recording app. So we're just gonna go down to the iPhone custom screen, double click on it inside here we can delete this and then we're going to grab the iphone recording interface put it inside here turn on transparent so you can just see what's going on now from here you can you guys can add in any video that you guys want from your iphone whatever you guys project that you're working on in this case i just quickly grabbed this video from over the weekend of my friends and i yeah, that's me doing a double backflip for the first time. But let's go grab this video, put it under our interface. Now, if we go back to our main composition, our video is inside our screen. And sometimes with normal videos inside the comp, because there's 3D lighting, it pretty much lights up the screen more. So in this case, you can see it's kind of like overexposed. So what you guys can do is on the apparel light or environment light, if you guys turn this off, you'll see that it's kind of like more normal lighting on the screen. Now we're gonna animate this iPhone. So we're gonna do the same process of putting a stopwatch on the position, X, Y, and Z rotation. And what we're gonna do is what i do when i want to try to line things up is go down to the other animation open this look at kind of where these keyframes are so for this case it ends on the two seconds so what i'm gonna do is on two seconds i'm gonna bring this one over on the z position i'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and then kind of move it so it just kind of fills this right side space and this is where i want it to end so that means i go to where I, it starts and then i'm gonna push this one off screen bada bing so now we're gonna do the same process highlight these easy ease go inside here boom boom now if we play this back you guys can see that now we have them both animated in but obviously the rotation of this one needs to be changed so i'm gonna go to the end here and we want it to be pretty much the opposite of the left one so that means i'm gonna do a little bit of that and then a little bit of this and a little bit of that and i almost want it to be like down so the lighting looks pretty cool and then on the y this is all personal preference like this is where it's kind of just you play around with it until it looks until it looks good honestly there's so much trial and error but like in our in this case it looks pretty pretty good like right there so this is where i want it to end and a little quick tip obviously if you want it to rotate kind of like we did for the first one where if you go to the end here and change the rotation you're not going to see it so what i always do is is just go a little bit back and from here, this is where you can kind of rotate it to however liking you want. I would say something like, I feel like something like that would look good. And we're just gonna put another rotation right there. Obviously we don't want these to start here, but we're gonna grab them. Now bring these to the end or beginning. Now if we play this back, now if you guys want to add that crazy movement that sauce like you see in the text message bubble ones in my other tutorial i'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you guys in this case we're just inside the solo of the animation where there's nothing other than just the animation and the camera movement yellow layer right here the camera movement we're going to put a keyframe for the position x y and z and let's just say we want it to back up we want it to be like right there and then we're gonna pretty much do a animation in so we're gonna put this off screen and then we're gonna go ahead about half a second or eh, yeah, about half a second you know what we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna go ahead even farther and then it's gonna pan it's gonna zoom in and then we're gonna pan in like this so same process we're gonna mainly focus on just the position movements so it goes up and then over so what i usually do for this case is i'm gonna highlight these inside of my flow graph we're just gonna double click on this so it's kind of it starts out slow fast and then slow play this back slow boom and then on this pretty much do the same animation on this one click apply play it back boom 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 now we're gonna do the rotation in this case we're gonna do the same process of grabbing these bringing them out so you can see them pretty much we're gonna do a full rotation so we're gonna put it right there grab these bring it over go to this put this back to the default now if you play this back you see that if it, it flies in rotates in all we're gonna do is do the same animation boom apply so if we play this back you can see that it is very quick what i usually sometimes do is grab this end one put it at the end 
So that means it slowly rotates in. And then right here, it'll do a quick spin in like that. Oh, that looked buttery. Play this back. Boom. And then obviously, if you guys want to keep this going further, we can zoom in. And then pretty much you just play around with the rotations. Something like this. Boom. Once you've done that, we can grab these ones because we have not used them. Put them to the start. Highlight all of this. We want the same type of graph. Now, the one thing is, is motion blur does not work on these 3D models. But the workaround is if you just add adjustment layer and add in force motion blur. Now, this is the saucy way of doing 3D iPhone animations with a slightly more advanced way. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to add some sauce to your videos, go ahead and check out my store down in the link in the description. And on that note, I think I'm going to see you guys in the next video. What was that? Whoa.